right now I'm going to do a much requested video. This one I'm going to call Primer 101. It tells you everything you want to know about the primer. Okay, so I'm going to be asking, I'm going to be answering some questions that so many people have been asking about the primer. How much is it? The primer is six dollar. It comes in a tube like this. Yes, it's yellow. Uh, actually, it doesn't come in this tube anymore. It comes in a black tube now. But um, yeah, it's still yellow. And a lot of people is wondering, why did we choose yellow? Yellow is similar to white, actually. So we could have chose white or yellow, but a primer has to be a very light color so that the um, shadows will actually look its best on it. Like white always works, so I guess a uh, pale yellow like this always works too. So um, a primer is something that's supposed to be really sticky, sort of like this, and it goes on really clear. Actually, it goes on sort of like really yellowish, but you can't really tell it. I mean, you can tell it on my hand, but after you put the prim the shadow on, it's just going to stick to it, and it's like glue. So a lot of people are worrying, will, this sh will the primer show, will it not work good will it be too bold for my skin tone no it's not it's going to work on everyone's skin tone it's only six dollars a lot of people have been saying this it's really great and it really is so another thing that a lot of people have been asking about is how to put on the primer um so i was on the radio show and the um host of the radio show they asked me if they're doing it right so um i want to show you guys how i put it on now, I'm kind of like advanced since I've been using it, so now I just put it on with my finger. But if you guys are not that good with it, you can just use any kind of brush. I'm using this one. And I'm going to show you guys how to put it on really quickly. Okay. So, you're just going to get dip the brush in there and get a little bit on it. Okay, so, just going to start from this eye. You're just going to rub it on there. Use short strokes and try to get just a little light layer on it. And you don't have to put this all over your eye. I would say just put it up to the crease so that your crease will go on really great. You don't have to put it in your highlight, but if you want to, you can. It's like not really a big issue. And then just kind of smooth it out with your finger. And also, a great tip is, the primer can also be used on your eye to kind of brighten it up. So just a light layer with your finger, and just put it on the lid. You're not going to go in the crease, just put it on the lid a little bit. And it's just going to make you look wide awake, more vibrant. And it's not really anything that you have to do anything special, like putting on shadow or mascara or something like that. It's just, you're just putting on a primer. So, it can also brighten up your eyes, but it really does make your eyeshadow stick way better than it would. Okay, and that's how it will look. Swatches of how a shadow will look with and without a primer, so um, definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, so one of the all-time most common question about the primer is what is in it. If you guys are interested in knowing what's inside the Dutch Burr Cosmetic Primer, definitely go to DutchBurrCosmetics.com and click on the primer button on the left side and um, she has it listed every single item that is inside the primer. It's safe and it's natural, but if you guys do want to know what's inside of it, I would tell you here, but I don't want to butcher any of the names, um, so definitely go check that out. Okay, so I have two random shadows that I drew out of my um, Deshaver collection. One is in Fakeade, it's number five, and one is in Fortress. I'm going to be showing you guys how they look with and without primer. So first up, I'm going to be doing Fortress. And this is a really dark gray color. So this is a dark smoky color. You guys probably can't see that light, but it's a really dark, smoky, grayish color. Now I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on just ahead of it, so you guys can see. 
it looks the same, but definitely not. This one is going to smudge easy. I'm going to show you guys how much it smudges. As you can see, which one stays? The one with the primer. A primer is something you put on before putting color on to make that color be more vibrant and make it stay on as long as possible and without creasing actually. So this doesn't crease and this is specially formulated for mineral eyeshadows and loose powders and stuff. And yes, it will work with other products other than um, MAC. I mean, other than Natural Cosmetic, it works with MAC, it works with any other shadows. It doesn't matter if they're loose or pressed, actually. So, um, it still works just as great. Um, so, definitely check out DashboardCosmetics.com. If you're looking to know what's inside of a product and it's not on the website, you can contact um, Destoria and she will probably get back to you really soon. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it answered a lot of your questions. Also, check out my other makeup channel. I am Makeup Girl 91 and um, I post um, other makeup that is not related to Detroit Cosmetics that you guys might be interested in. I'm also going to be doing hair tutorials, um, so check those out and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe.